Hello there, Aries, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well. If not, hopefully you'll do a lot better after these messages, uh, if it resonates for you. And this is going to be for Aries and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see here. Okay, you're actually in a good place. You know, Aries, you might need to really stay strong when it comes to clearing house or keeping things clear and clean. You know, I'm talking about your sense of your soul, your emotional well-being being here. Okay. So emotional self-care is needed. Um, and if you've been doing that good, because at any moment you are in or stepping into a place of you know, new possibilities, new opportunities that are unexpected, but you can take a leap of faith on something. And I do feel a lot of you Aries, you're releasing some type of emotional baggage. I mean, that's really what I'm getting here and you are doing a good job, but at the same time, as you're, as you are, or have been releasing emotional baggage, you also have been, um, surfacing, you know, what your heart really wants, what dream is coming into fruition and what is rightfully yours. So trust your intuition at this time too, Aries, because you may be on point about how you're feeling and thinking about things, people, situations. This might be a time too, Aries, that you, you know, you want to think before you're acting, right? So just pay attention to how you feel when a, um, you know, when a opportunity presents itself. I mean, if it feels right, then do it. But if it feels a little off, take your time. You don't have to step into or engage with something or someone. And Boo Boo the Fool, uh, this is your zodiac sign here. It's associated with your zodiac sign, Aries. And then we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know, you really are leading the way. So keep things light. Just keep things light. Don't do too much. You know, you're not overdoing things. And also don't overgive or overshare at this time, especially when it comes to, you know, your dreams, your desires, your goals for right now, just keep it to yourself. You're better off. Okay. Now there could be someone here too, that you may be taking a leap of faith on. This, this person could embody, um, water sign or maybe another Aries here, but not necessarily. This person is going to be most likely highly intuitive, psychic, compassionate. Okay. So there may be an, uh, an opportunity you could either connect with as a fellow sacred traveler or friend, or maybe there's something about love. Okay. Cause the mother of water, you know, this, she's connecting to her emotions. Okay. What else for Aries? Also, I feel there's something about being cautious with not allowing even, um, some type of emotional turmoil, you know, to, I don't know, boil up or get, you know, too carried away, you know, there, cause there's something about you feeling safe here. We, okay. We, we do have someone here and we, oh, okay. If it's not someone, then it's definitely a good match. <laughs> Whatever possibility, um, and potential and opportunity arises. Hello, hello, hello. There may be real spark in chemistry. We can uh, bring maybe two visions together because maybe it just has the same, you know, flair, chemistry, whatever. <laughs> but you can count on something being the right match here and something and someone being very mature. So I really get for a lot of you Aries, you know, there's an emotion or excuse me, there is a, a relationship, you know, that is playing out here or soon will be, that will be of an importance to you. I do like that the maturity is coming out with the spark here. So I feel that there is a harmonious connection here. Someone that is stable, someone that has matured either through life experience or just with age. This can also be you, you know, Aries, and you're drawing in, um, 
you know, another kind, you know, and it might be another kind, but both of you together could be one of a kind. Hmm. What else for Aries? Sacrifice, self-reflection. Okay, I do feel that this is a time you're not oversharing, overdoing. Uh, you may be also creating boundaries when it comes to, you know, your, t your time that you spend on something or someone, especially when it costs you, in a sense, you know, em your emotions. But we are in a place of l letting something happen on its own here. Let's get a little bit more too. This is the hangman. We have sacrifice, self-reflection. Okay, that that is coming through strong about the self-reflection. You know, how far you've come, especially with your own state of maturity. Let's get more. Um, what's important for Aries to know about this hangman? This is the mother of wands. This is you, Aries. <laughs> In a sense, you know, you're either doing something right now to take care of your own self, your own energy, which is actually helping you nurture future, um, you know, fortune or blessings in one's life. And the other thing is, I mean, I see the snake here. I mean, it's protecting these eggs here. So there is something really important. I feel Aries not to rush into something too quickly, especially, you know, if you, if you feel that something or someone is off now, that doesn't mean, <laughs> you know, to hold back here. You got to really listen. You've been calling forth something, right? Cause you have been tending to, you know, emotional self care, and so you've been calling forth something and you can be assured of your own rebirth here or feeling confident in guiding or protecting those things that are important to you, your dreams, your visions. I mean, whatever this is, whatever is going on, these are your future blessings that this, uh, snake mother, the mother of wands is protecting. So we're just allowing something during reflection to speak to you. And I really feel that spirit is saying, take time to notice your own skills and things, how far you have come along, how much you have sacrificed. Cause I feel a lot of you Aries have been doing something when it comes to simplifying or just trying to keep things simple. There may have been some disappointment though, too, with others around you, especially if you have been moving on from things, um, following your heart, your dreams, your visions, you know, not giving up on something or just, you know, doing your own thing, right? And not caring. And that's the thing. I feel that Aries, you really are coming into a place where whatever, whatever is uniting here with you and whatever you're doing, you know, the attitude is like, you know, you're just, you, you are, you're doing you, <laughs> you have no time actually to give into others, petty situations, circumstances, and maybe even old things of, of, of oneself too, because here's your rebirth. Here's this thing about rise and shine here. Mother of wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Believe in yourself, have confidence in your dreams, have confidence too about what's happening with you. Um, there's a sacred spiritual awakening that's happening with you. So you're accessing important information from you, your higher self, God, Jesus, the universe, whatever you believe in, you know, your ancestors, they're all around you. <laughs> so it's okay not to rush into something too, too quick here. You'll know you'll know. Hmm. Let's get more and see what else comes out. You're knowing your worth, emotional self care, opening yourself up to new possibilities. And here you are with the mother of wands, you know, in a sense, doing something where I don't know, you're, you're lying. It's like, 
I don't know, it's like lie in wait and then all of a sudden you pop up and you reappear, you appear <laughs> or someone appears out of nowhere. In the meantime, you're doing this thing about self-reflection because that's really coming through strong with this hangman and the uh, queen of cups. You're realizing something about what matters the most to your heart and, and what you don't really want to give any more to. You don't need, you know, and also take this if it resonates for those areas that, you know, you feel like it resonates with you because it won't for all of you, but there may be something here too where you, you may have or be in a place where you could feel even, I don't, I don't know, now it's, I'm getting another message. Maybe even being discouraged to share your blessings. Maybe something happened in the past here when we shared our blessings or maybe we got overconfident with something here and we might have felt like we got burned in a situation. But Spirit is saying y y there's nothing that you should even feel hung up on here because here you are in your power and receiving more power because you're in this place of allowing what needs to be, right? Allowing yourself to just soak up some type of new energy, new experience, reflections about how far you've come along and you are doing something where you're becoming a lot more self-reliant, responsible, mature, and strong here. So know your worth, I feel, is nine of pentacles coming through here. So there could be possibility or potential for those that, you know, are really seeking um, a life to do what you love to do, you're doing that. You're building upon that. You're going towards that. Keep trusting that. Just continue to know your worth. There, there's something and someone here. Okay. So put this in your situation because not all of you are looking for someone, but hello, there's definitely a situation that, that uh, it's a perfect match. Someone is very mature. There's great chemistry and it's natural. It feels natural. And I see that you're mature here too, because you're showing up as the king and the queen, or I mean the queen. What else? Strength, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. It may take more strength just to kind of hold back, right? Not to get too overly, or it may, oh, yeah, don't get too over, um, overly emotionally invested. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> emotionally over invested. Okay, whatever. Okay, Leo is coming through with the strength card here. Hmm. See, you're moving into some type of new territory here. And now you've opened something up here with possibilities, potential when it comes to the desires of your own heart, a desire to lead, to be strong here, to know your value, to know your worth. And also it takes great, you know, strength to come into this place of mastery, emotional mastery, mental mastery, you know, having the courage to stand your ground if you need to, but also be yielding because that's what that mother of wa uh, water is doing here. She's strong, but yet she's being yielding here, right? Because what she cares about right now is what's being, um, incubated dreams, future blessings here. And that's you. You're doing that. It's worth the sacrifice right now not to do anything where we feel, oh, you know what? I'm getting like something about a squeezing effect. Cause just think of those, uh, think of the snake. If it was squeezing those eggs really hard, crush, crush, crush. Right? So we're doing something right now where we are eliminating things that feel squeezing to your energy. That's the key. And you are, and you do hold great strength. So trust that your ability to lead or to be strong in a situation, even if you have to do it on your own, but also be careful, um, Aries too. I, you know, not all of you, but well, you know, mother of wands, a strength card and I hang man. We, you know, there, there could be people, you know, that could agitate you or irritate you, you know? So, you know, we just have to release those judgments 
you know, there, there's nothing like, there's just something that's really a waste of your time. And I feel that you already know what it is just given to, you know, reflecting on how far you've come, because that's going to help build or keep building upon your, um, worth here, which is only a positive thing. What else? See, just make more effort. I just feel this is all about loving yourself health in a healthy way, making sure you do whole, um, create boundaries or know your boundaries. Cause sometimes what we have to do, you know, sometimes if we jump into things too quickly, we, um, like do a premature, like a, you know, our rebirth is premature because we may do something too quickly where, you know, it feels like we have to go back and start again in a sense here. But you don't, you know, right now you're just doing something to allow it to come to its own maturity state. So just make more effort to having this realization about how far you've come, not the mistakes you've done. Um, even if it was bad, who cares? I mean, you're moving on. Oh, there was something I was going to say about that snake too. Oh, yeah. See this, there, there's focus on this here on what's really important and, and we're sacrificing, you know, what's not needed so that we can conserve and put all of our energy incubating these blessings. Let's get more to with that effort. Might as well. And look at the water that comes out are in heart shapes here. You know, it's just about not being guarded, practice not being guarded at this time. I know we all get hurt. We all want to protect our heart, but you can feel safe of just kind of releasing that because as you basically fallen in love with yourself and getting to know yourself, oh, this is good. I'm glad I came back to this because this is the other thing. When you go through these rebirths, which we all do, you know, many times <laughs> as we're going through life it's important to have that time to get to know your new self. You know, what are your likes and dislikes from this point on, right? Not from your past, because we all know that we don't have the same likes or dislikes that we had in the past or long ago. So that's why it's important to know who you really are, what you really like. And I'm not saying that you don't, but honor your, you know, this thing about you being a badass. That's what I'm just getting because you're a badass. Mother of Wands is a badass. <laughs> she lets the haters hate. She or he let the haters hate. She don't care. She's, she's free of others' judgments or criticisms. She don't care. She's not wearing other people's opinions on her, right? Him or her. That's you. What else? I love the, I really love this. Yes. Okay. We do have a match here when it comes to some type of em emotional agreement <laughs> in the heart. You like that emotional agreement unity. This is the higher font. This is, you know, um, higher, uh, higher forces that charge also, you know, staying committed here, right? Seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Some of you that might be needed here, you know, don't take to, don't feel that you have to lead the way all the time. It actually takes great strength to know when you need to just kind of, you know, lay, lay low or be a student, watch others in the, in the process, right? It doesn't mean you're losing yourself. It just means you're learning how to dance with other souls, dance with spirit. And that's a good thing. Traditional viewpoints or methods. You could be looking at these things right now. You know, this whole thing about self-reflection, you know, seeing what works for you, what doesn't. And we could also be involved or connecting to some type of spiritual organization. But Spirit is saying that heaven's got your back here when it comes to some type of, you know, connection here where we can maybe restir fond memories or be available for new fond memories with you and another or others. There's also this sense of innocence coming through as well. So I do feel Aries that 
you're going to be embodying almost like a very playful, childlike, innocent nature um, in a situation here. So feel safe to do that. You know, this is, that's your time to feel free, not to hold back. Also spirit is helping a lot of you Aries with, you know, memories from your history or childhood, uh, issues regarding children or, you know, something from, you know, childhood, especially if it's been traumatic in some sense. Now Aries, we could be romanticizing on the past too. So let's get a little bit more with the six of cups here. We have cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and also Taurus coming through with the higher font, the unity. But I see, you know, to me, this, there's some type of spiritual unity that's happening. That's, um, you know, a very balanced sense of energy towards one another. So it just harmonizes perfectly. So let's get a little bit more with that six of water for Aries. boundaries. <laughs> we may need to, yeah, we're, oh my gosh, this is, this is interesting too, because the mother of air has a broom and I do feel there's something about children involved or nurturing, um, something that is very young at this time. We got a, a broom here. That's like sweeping, cleaning something here. And here's these memories, right? We could be romanticizing the past here. So it may be time just to keep being aware you know, if it's over consuming you and you're giving too much emotion to it, because, you know, we've got the mother of air saying set up boundaries. And I was already talking about that too. We have this thing about boundaries, right? Getting to know yourself more and more so that you do know when, you know, when it is your energy or not your energy. And also, you know, getting to a place where, again, this maturity to me is allowing, you know, yourself, your own independence and another's independence, whether you're in a close or intimate relationship, we're not overdoing it with one another. We're just allowing another to be in their own power while you're in your own power. But mother of air is detaching from something. I do feel we're having some emotional upheavals as we're digging into the past or romanticizing the past. That could be a good thing, but it could also be a bad thing because we might even make things maybe better than they really were in a sense. And that's not to take away any, you know, of those memories, but there is something here where, you know, you got the mother of Aries saying, Aries, pay attention. This might be a time that you, it's good to let go or clean house, maybe get rid of old things that trigger old memories. It's, you know, you can trust your decisions at this time. Some of you Aries may already have dealt with someone that could embody the queen of swords. They have made, they may have had some harsh words or cold words to you or vice versa, <laughs> you know? And so you, you, you know, all you can do from that point is continue to clean house here, right? Just make room for, you know, new relationships or memories or, you know, it's not all about new, but you know, connecting to what's most important, not feeling like you're getting dr uh, drowned. It's like getting drowned here, almost feeling drowned by memories. Okay. What else? Now I, I feel this too. I feel this too, Aries. Take it if it resonates. It won't for all of you. If you Aries have someone, I don't know if it's a male or a female. I, I would say, you're, I mean, you're very familiar with this energy. You already know this energy. You already know they're like, um, they are like, I don't know, they, like they dump their emotions on you, right? There's almost like a, a emotional vomiting on you, right? You know, so it's like, you don't have to listen to everybody's problems or, you know what I mean? It's because you're, you have to tend to your garden, your emotional self-care because it's your visions, your dreams, your heart that matters the most right now. You, you know, you might've already done all that you can in a situation, right? And now we, we just need to be in this place of kind of swinging with the energy, right? Be with the energy.
And I'm only saying swinging because to me, the hangman is like on that post or swinging here. Are these upside down? Well, that one was, oh, <laughs> uh, the, the higher font again re, uh, appeared here. This is the shaman. Trust the path. Continue trusting the path. Now, um, I'm going to just point this out. The way that this came out upside down, well, you know, I thought these were all right side up, so I'll just make sure that they are. But, you know, it doesn't matter because I'm seeing this thing about speed. We have to be careful with something. We don't want to act hastily or, you know, um, you need to choose logic over emotions, especially when it comes to, you know, sudden events, changes, maybe conversations, maybe even challenging conversations. I'm only saying that because of the swords coming out with the mother, uh, queen of swords and the knight of swords. But we may need to slow something down. We may need to slow something down. Let's get more about this too. We have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's important for Aries to know about the creature of air and why it decided to show up upside down? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. You don't have to... Okay. Something's already forming here. So we've got... I mean, this is good. Aries, this is real good. You need to trust the path. Continue knowing your worth. You do have something that is maybe slow moving or slow forming, but it is assured here. And it actually may come quicker than you think. Oh, my God. There's another card that wants to come out with that. There's a strong energy off that Ace of Pentacles. We've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is abundance. This is a commitment here that can grow into, you know, something prosperous for you. This might be something too with a new healthy lifestyle, healthy ways. Really feeling strong and rooted here. Okay, what wants to come out with this Ace of Pentacles for Aries? A complex decision, the need to do, okay, the need to do research. Stop procrastinating. <laughs> All right. Hmm. It's interesting here. So some of you guys are ready to do something. You're ready to take action on a dream here. Some of you, though, you may need to slow down and not rush into something, especially if it's too confusing, because the seven of water, which is the seven of cups, can be a card where we are even possibly messing, messing with uh, manipulation or deception because things may look good on the outside, but not so good when you get it home, <laughs> when you take it home and reveal it, okay? But, you know, Seven of Water also speaks of dreams, but I do feel there's something about slowing down so that we can see the truth of something because this is solid where this isn't. The Seven of Waters is, is not solid. There's nothing solid here. Now, if you've, been, if you've been intuitively picking up on something that maybe you've been procrastinating, maybe it is it just tidying up, cleaning house, getting organized. I mean, I'm, I'm in that place too. I'm just looking around like, oh my gosh, I really need to like write a list and get each section of the house so that I can get things organized in the way that I want and eliminate some clutter here too, right? Because you're making room for something new. Um, now, when something appears here, you will know because <laughs> you'll be happy with this Ace of Pentacles. Don't be afraid to move forward forward with it. Now, I don't know why I want to say this, but for some, you may need to, you know, um, don't feel like you have to just hang on to it. Use it. Use it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What else? I do see a dream coming true for you in tangible form, Aries. So in the meantime, instead of trying to pick things, especially in life, if it feels like it's just about getting something quickly now, uh, filling up a void or a hole, maybe it's even shopping or whatever, take a step back, okay? Take a step back. That's not important. What's important is allowing something or taking action on other things right now, right? Self-care, maybe boundaries, uh, tidying things up. Maybe we're getting rid of some old stuff, whatever, this is helping this solid, good thing come into your life quicker, actually. All 
I actually like this martyr too. We have the ego. Because I'm seeing how sh this person is hanging upside down. Well, vice versa. How, how do we know? Look, it could even be this way, right side up, you know, like a yoga pose. Because look at the feet are together. Or is it, or is it this way? But look, we got these flowers, these roses. And what I was noticing is um, outer space, you know, the planets and stuff here. Ooh. So it's like a, you know, you're suspended in that some, it's like the suspension um, is enlightening you about something here. And maybe the suspension is really about protection from something or someone that could be harsh or negative to you, your energy, your future blessings. Don't get trapped up here either by too much consumption of things. Um, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts that that may be. Or some of you, you could be dealing with some someone here too that has a major big ego. <laughs> you know, we all have egos. We're just having to keep it in check, right? However, I feel that you're embodying this queen of swords and you're detaching yourself and seeing the truth of a situation and really realizing what negative energies need to get the hell out, <laughs> clean out, you know, we're just cleaning house. And spirit is saying, have courage because some of you might feel a little bit not so strong, especially if you have to deal with someone that maybe you do feel is not all of you are dealing with someone, but maybe you feel that they, um, are very dominant or quick to d judge or too quick to, you know, cut someone off or whatever. Stand your ground, know your worth. You know, you can express things in a, in a way that is respectful, commanding yet, you know, not overpower, powering, right? It's just in a respect, yeah, respectful way. Okay. Let's continue and see what else. Oh, yeah, we are bringing a gentle touch. See, look at this, the creature of air. I mean, he's going full force, so we got to slow down with something. Don't be too quick to judge or um, maybe speak, especially if it's coming from emotional place. I'm just saying, just take that if it resonates, because to me, this is also like mother of water, possibly mother of water and page of cups mixed together here, you know, where we do or will be surrounded by something and someone that, you know, you have to bring a gentle touch because there is a sense of innocence. You know, look at the mother with that child right there. Um, what was I seeing the other? Well, anyways, this may be the mother of water here. I thought I was seeing like another child. Oh, it's the six of water. You know, the sense of innocence, right? So... Yeah, there may be stirrings of being sensitive too. So I, I feel too, Aries, you know, lighten up a little bit. You know, you may need to remind yourself that, you know, it's okay to laugh at yourself or see the humor in a situation. You don't have to take yourself or others too seriously at this time. Bring a gentle touch while you're going through some type of like, um, rebirth, void, mystery. What else for Aries? I just said this Aries. Oh, I just said this Aries. I meant to say, I just said this spirit. <laughs> trust the great mystery. Trust the path. We even have the shaman or the higher font coming out twice. Spirit has a plan for you. <laughs> the devil may, you know, oh, okay, was the devil may have a purpose, but God has a plan, right? <laughs> the ego may have a purpose, but your higher self has a plan. Trust in the great mystery. I know this can be difficult because I do sense moon card too coming through with both of these where it can be very uncomfortable, really uncomfortable because we can't see anything. We have no idea what in the hell is going to be on the other side. We don't even know what kind of, you know, new self is going to be reflected either. But you're being shown the way. There's something about, you know, noticing signs, noticing the comfort that is being bestowed on you, either by animals, images, people, things that kind of speak to you. What else for Aries?
Well, the devil is coming out again. It's ego and excess, the trickster. And then it says, choose freedom. Maybe we are in a place of just wanting to simplify in some sense. Some of you, you do or dealing with someone that, ah, be careful. <laughs> you know, the tricks and traps of life. People like to throw those things out too, but you know, it's not, I'm not saying they're doing it on purpose. You know, sometimes we, people just don't know, right? Others just don't know. Uh, now this not, n doesn't necessarily mean that there's someone negative or someone that's trying to control you. But we may need to watch a tendency to not to control others because mother of wands can be very controlling and bossy, especially with the mother air, you know. And so we are doing something where we're coming into a place of just maybe sacrificing the need to control everything or everyone, how, how you know, how things need to be right? You can only control so much. And the only thing that spirit is saying control right now is emotional self-care, knowing your worth, choosing freedom with the creature of fire. So the trickster is the devil card that's associated with Capricorn. Creature of fire is the knight of wands. You're taking action towards anything or anyone, right? Or whatever you can do to choose freedom, like burning away something in the past here and making a new way. <laughs> so a lot of you are going to be possessing or already have possessed some type of idea or solution to run with. You got to, you got to hold it, keep going with it. Keep holding on to that in your heart and know as you do, you're continuing to trust the path. Things will be shown to you. Now there is something in someone though, that's going to require a conversation or a decision about. But remember what I said, don't, you know, choose logic over emotion. What else? The miracles are endless. Something's going to happen in a way you, you just can't figure out at this time because I'm getting moon energy, mystery. So it's going to happen in unexpected ways, but that it happens when you're feeling really full and good about you, yourself, what's going on, knowing you'll be provided for. Look at, you know, to me, cow spirit is, I don't know, I, who knows if that's a male or a female, but hey, <laughs> I see empress here. We're coming into a great fulfillment of, you know, lavishing in what feels abundant to oneself. Let's get more about the miracles are endless for Aries. There's going to be another way. So some of you Aries are obsessing too much about someone or something here. And that's okay. I mean, that's we, humans. We do that. <laughs> Daughter of pentacles. Oh my God. This is the page of pentacles. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. Something or someone is going to manifest before your eyes. You, you know, right now, do what you can to nurture, big or small, whatever harvest you have right now that you feel you've worked hard for or that you've worked for, right? See the abundance without feeling like you need more or even well, some of you guys, I do, again, I feel like you're releasing. You're you're really in this place of letting go of the old, so that the so that the new can enter. Also, miracles are endless when it comes to your finances for a lot of you Aries, because the uh, daughter of Pentacles is signifying good news in your finances. You might even find a new joy, a new toy, or a new area of study that really, you know, grabs hold of your heart, your attention. Another child is here too with that daughter of pentacles. I'm just put, putting it out there. But, you know, you are also in this place of having to be gentle with yourself because you are the child in this new situation. So continue to know your worth. Don't feel out of um, your comfort zone because you. I know you will feel that way, but you'll get comfortable. You'll get more and more comfortable. What else? You're making your dreams real right now. And some of you, maybe you do have something right now here where you, you've got a, something to start with, right? 
Maybe it's just taking one little step towards making a plan of action. But I'm seeing this thing where you've done what you can or you're getting to a place of completion here. And now we need to just be patient here with the eggs when they hatch. Some of you, you're also in a new place with having to figure out making your dreams real. This is why, you know, it takes time to really get to know what your likes, your dislikes are. Let's get more with make your dreams real. You're definitely in this place of being a work in progress, mastering something skillful in your life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The strength card just came out. But try, believe in yourself here. Believe there's also a, you know, a very strong and wise person too for you. We've got someone who's like romantic too. I don't know. I just see that line with the rose. But this is also being in a place of being infinite here. I mean, anything really is possible. So spirit is saying, expect the unexpected. I feel that all you got to do is uh, be meticulous, be patient, you know, do quality check, quality control with things, but also rise up from earthly matters. Maybe have a little fun. It's not, it doesn't need to be all about work or focusing on one certain outcome or, you know, whatever. But I feel that you've like, are, you've built this web and spirit is saying, come off that web and come out a little bit more. Know you're going to catch your dreams. Maybe you just need to go strut your stuff. <laughs> What else for Aries? And hang on, Aries, I feel, okay, love is all around. Hang, oh, yes, Aries. I got a little kitten here. <laughs> you want to try to come up here? Okay, he's going to join the reading. He's so cute. <laughs> Aries, love is all around, and we even had this, I mean, look. He's just a big old ball of love too. See, love is all around in unexpected ways. I bet you didn't expect to see a little kitten, a little two-month-old baby. Know this, feel this, believe this. Even if it's not their Aries, it really is. It really is. Let's get more about this. Love is all around. Don't be afraid to express yourself either, Aries. I feel you're not holding back. You're choosing freedom too when it comes to you know, honoring, you know, your own desires, your own like impulses in a way that's positive and good, or, you know, something that you just feel strong about. You're just kind of doing your thing, doing you. Let's get more with love is all around. Don't avoid something. <laughs> Yeah, th this is this is the seven of swords. You know, we've got this d card of deception. Don't fall for the lies or the tricks or the traps here. Also, there may be something with not avoiding something, right? We might be trying to hide out because I don't know why I'm just getting this thing was just come out a little bit or, <laughs> but don't fall for a trap of feeling like you know, it's not going to ever happen or nothing is going good. What else? Oh, tend to the small things. That's this, I feel this is the mother of air. She is, she's doing things, you know, even the smallest things, she's just taking care of it. Don't let things, if you can tend to things now, then do that. The small things do add up. They accumulate. They help momentum. They help move stagnant energy. Don't be afraid of making decisions now. You're actually in a good place to trust in your decisions, eliminating what you need to eliminate, do what you got to do. Big or small, it doesn't matter, but it's these small things that do matter right now. Right, you've done the big thing here with that. Um, oh, is oh the spider web here, right? And so we've got the eggs, or we're waiting for it to catch. <laughs> what else? 
And see, we don't, w- when we tend to small things, we don't let things pile up and become too much where we have excess. Turn knowledge into wisdom. You can also feel safe to express and share your experiences or your stories or, you know, maybe there's a creative thing that you want to do, whether it's to share it or not. Maybe it's just an outlet for you. But a lot of you, you're ready to, you know, help others or teach others or, you know, maybe just know that you are a true pathfinder. You are on this, you know, path where you're being led to trust the path, right? And when the student is ready, the teacher will arrive and vice versa, right? Because you are also a teacher for others at the right time when they need it, as well as you and, you know, we all do. Okay, what else? Ah, beautiful. You, mm, landed on the queen of wands. That's you. Have confidence in yourself, especially when it comes to achievements, because you are embarking on some type of important achievement goal, and we do have self-discipline and willpower. Yes, we could also be in a place of maybe making our way to being known or famous or just have public recognition. Take that if it resonates. But this is a card of victory. This is a card where you're headed into a new and and good direction, And things could speed up with that chariot. (laughs) We could even have something about traveling here. You know, some type of experience that, you know, maybe you didn't even think was possible. But now we may even have a change in direction or, or, you know, a new adventure. Okay, there's a card that wants to come out with that chariot. Cancer is associated with the chariot. You're overcoming obstacles as well. Okay, what is this? The Eight of Swords? <laughs> Freedom. Hmm. It's like this butterfly doesn't want to spread their wings here. We're afraid. Maybe we, again, maybe we got burned when we did it, right? But there's this isn't, you, you know... Again, you're let the haters hate Aries. I mean, you've got something powerful here. So, you know, don't be afraid to spread your wings and fly. You already have your wings. See, we're hanging on to some type of, look at this. This is the hangman. We're hanging on to something here, but it's literally just one small little thread. (laughs) So there, there is this opportunity or be available, right? By just being open and proud of yourself, confident with yourself, because an opportunity will arrive. You've got to trust this. Now, also, there may be something here with just getting a little bit, take it if it resonates, get a little bit organized too when it comes to priorities, eliminate what you don't need. This is a good time to do that actually. And, you know, you know, the less that you have to think about, the, the more your mind can occupy peace, tranquility, and enjoying yourself because you do have new wings. And if you notice on this hangman, the martyr here, notice like how the clothing is in like a wing shape too. But we're just still here. So yes, you're doing emotional self-care, but be open to doing something different. You may need to be, uh, you know, spontaneous. That's the thing. Maybe don't Don't hide yourself or just be more open to being spontaneous. And, you know, I feel that you will, as you start to tend to small things that you feel have been building up, because that's just kind of squeezing your energy here. You know, it's these things that you're thinking about. Okay. Uh, What else for Aries? Nope, that's it. Okay, so Aries, let's find out how spirit is currently helping you that you need to be aware of for Aries. Oh my God. Yeah. Life is speeding up. Spirit's going to help you speed things up here. (laughs) 
because yeah, we may have been feeling a little stagnant, especially with the hangman and that seven of cups here, right? So you're just tending to what's important and then allow when the time is right for it. When life starts speeding up, you'll know that's your cue. You'll know it's your cue to take action, to be decisive and to trust in yourself with that. I want to see what's behind that too. Oh, nice. We have an acceleration. Oh, see, this is the ace of pentacles. This is like good fortune, abundance, sweet results await. Your hard work has paid off. What's going on with this card? <laughs> I feel this card wants to talk. Let's see what wants to come out with that Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, it's, it's destiny. It's your spiritual rebirth. Remember, we're talking about your rebirth here. But this is destiny. So, your good fortune, your dream, something real and tangible and solid is landing on your path. Keep looking to the heavens. Keep believing in yourself. Don't give in to old things or situation or petty people that try to get your t attention. Because I do feel Aries. You may even have an addictive energy, actually. Others may just be addicted to you and they don't even know it, right? But you you can't spread yourself thin. Your, your focus on, man, life is speeding up. That's the chariot. That's that chariot. <laughs> and you're going towards that victory here. Sweet results await. Nice. That's, oh man, that's so cool. Okay. So let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future for Aries. Aquarius is associated with the star card. What does Aries have to look forward to in the near future? Hmm. A release. Oh my God. Life is a mystery. So spirits even saying, well, Aries, all I can tell you is that you're going to be giving into the mystery, but you're not even going to care. And you're actually not caring about the past anymore. Ha like there's something about you being in a place of, you know, um, a real release or enlightenment and, you know, you're not hanging on to anything that feels old or worn out either. So you're in a real place of like, I see maybe even high priestess mix in with a judgment card where the veil is very, very thin right now between you and spirit. You're having these epiphanies and realizations. You're picking up on things. You're sensing things and you're coming into a place of just being yielding to yourself and others. You're not even harshly judging, criticizing, or just giving any energy to it because it's, you know, you're already done with it. You've passed some level of awareness and awakening, and you're ready to dive in to the mystery. So who and what and how it shows up, you know, we got to give it up to destiny here. It's meant to be, but it is a tangible thing for you. So I hope that this was helpful. Love and light.